Hello students, this is a video in the series of joint probability density function. This is the part 1 of this topic. Joint PDF means joint probability density function. In this particular video, I will be discussing one question and if you see in this question, <coughs> Two variables are provided x and y and a joint density function is given fxy which is equal to 1 by 8 6 minus x minus y x is from 0 to 2 and y is from 2 to 4 in order to make a better understanding I will draw the reason this is minus infinite to infinite for x axis and for y I can draw it like minus infinite to infinite for y. This is the point 0 comma 0. In the first part, okay, before the first part, I will draw this particular reason. x is given from 0 to 2. It means this is y axis means x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 means somewhere this line x equal to at the point 2 comma 0 then I will draw this particular reason y is 2 it means this is a line somewhere around y equal to 2 at the point 0 comma 2 and y is 4 it means at this point this will be the line y equal to 4 at 0 comma 4 so this and this reason I have drawn now if you will see the first part of the question in this particular question we have to evaluate probability of x less than 1 intersection y less than 3 so what what I want to say try to understand basically we are having the formula of such type of probability which is in which two variables are incorporated that is minus infinite to infinite minus infinite to infinite fx y dx dy so if you will see this reason x is less than 1 x is less than 1 means what x is less than 1 means somewhere this point is 1 comma 0 so at this point x will be 1 it means x is having these values minus infinite to 1 so that is why I have written here for, uh, for x limits are minus infinite to 1 and thereafter y less than 3 means what y less than and at this point of uh, I will say uh, this point this point if you draw the line that will be the line y equal to 3 where this point is 0 comma 3 so how how this reason will work for you know y is from uh, 3 to infinite this is somewhere 3 to infinite I mean to say minus infinite to 3 not 3 to infinite minus infinite to 3 means this particular this particular value I am talking about y now if you see if you see the original value of x it is from 0 to 2 it is from 0 to 2 and here upper limit of x is fixed so since x is lying in x is lying in 0 to 2 but here upper limit of x is fixed that is 1 so what will be the updated limit of x updated limit of x will be 0 to 0 to 1 updated limit of x will be 0 to 1 so what I want to say it means I will draw a line here at x uh, which is x equal to 1 so this particular 0 to 1 I am talking about this particular I mean to say uh, x is less than 1 means this particular reason I am talking about x is less than 1 but actually which is greater than 0 now thereafter if I will talk about limit of y upper limit of y is fixed here 3 but lower limit we can take from this interval so which is from 2 to 3 which is from 2 to 3 here it is y equal to 2 and here it will be y equal to 3 so what will be the common intersection I mean to say common region that will be this one where x is from 0 to 1 and y is from 2 to 3 so 
that is why this particular limit is indicating this particular intersection x is from 0 to 1 and y is from 2 to 3 so that is why it is updated like this now students if you see x is from 0 to 1 so that is why we can deal with it like this double integration 0 to 1 and f x y is 1 by 8 6 minus x minus y so this 1 by i 1 by 8 i have taken outside because it is a constant so 0 to 1 6 minus x minus y it is a limit of x and thereafter we will apply limit of y which is actually 2 to 3 so we can say here it is a concept of double integration and we know how to deal with the uh, concept of double integration with respect to x y will be constant so on integrating it with respect to x what will be getting 6x minus x square by 2 minus xy upper limit minus lower limit will give us these values which is actually 11 by 2 minus y so now this double integration is converted into the single integration multiplied with 1 by 8 1 by 8 multiplied with this single integration and all of us know how to deal with the single integration so this will be the single integration and limits are from 2 to 3 on solving this particular limit we will be getting 3 by 8 which is not a big deal as single integration is not that much complicated so this 3 by 8 is students actually the answer of part number 1 thereafter if I will talk about part 2 in this part 2 we have to find probability of x plus y less than 3 so we can check it again in the question part probability of x plus y less than 3 yes we are right here so this particular value we are going to talk about see I have drawn the reason one more time here as per the requirement of B part here this is a point 0 0 this is a line x equal to 2 fine because in our question x is lying from 0 to 2 that is why I have taken it like this and y is from 2 to 4 so that is why y equal to 2 line y equal to 4 line some basics are there this is a line y equal to x so this is a line y equal to minus x so what will be the line y equal to 3 minus x just 3 steps ahead on x axis and y axis so this is a line y equal to 3 minus x so that is why I have drawn this line from 0 to 3 0 comma 3 and 3 comma 0 I have joined these two points 0 3 and 3 0 and this will create an intercept at 1 comma 2 now the question is x plus y less than 3 this region we have to deal with x plus y is less than 3 means y is less than 3 minus x limit of y is below 3 minus x so it means I have taken here vertical strip where this is the point y equal to 2 and on this line at this line y will be 3 minus x so if I will take this strip from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 this whole region which is highlighted by yellow color this will be obtained this will be covered so thereafter li limits are ob obtained here of x and y so no problem now we can handle the double integration as we know the probability of x plus y less than 3 minus infinite to infinite minus infinite to infinite fx y dx dy so as we know limit of x is from let me check it again yes it is from 0 to 1 and limit of y is from 2 to 3 minus x this is a constant limit this is a variable limit so as per the rule of double integration we will apply variable limit first so that is why I have taken this limit of y from 2 to 3 minus x inside the bracket and then I have applied the limit of x so as it is already clear to us that how to handle the double integration concept and this 1 by 8 is a constant value so I can take it before the double integration so we can easily handle this double integration as per the rule of double integration and you can take it like uh, I mean to say uh, you can verify it later as well this value 1 by 8 multiplied by this double integration will be 5 by 24 so students this will be our second solution I mean to say 
this will be our answer of the b part now if we are going towards the third part in the third part we have to deal with this conditional uh, this probability which is based upon conditional distribution probability of x less than 1 given y less than 3 how to handle it so you see here probability of x less than 1 given y less than 3 as per the formula x less than 1 intersection y less than 3 its probability upon probability y less than 3 and this was the value obtained by us in a part so that is 3 by 8 and what about this particular value so this particular particular value i have obtained here probability of y less than 3 is what so since y is originally from 2 to 4 2 to 4 but we have to keep it less than 3 so upper limit is 3 and lower limit will be 2 and function of x y dy but there is no restriction upon x so originally x was given from 0 to 2 so that is why i have taken x from 0 to 2 so just uh, we can replace here the value of fxy and thereafter it will be converted into the double integration and its value will be 5 by 8 so that is why i have the written i have written here 3 by 8 upon 5 by 8 ultimately it is 3 by 5 so students this is our final value of final answer of the c part so students this was all about uh, the probability joint probability density functions uh, um, and all the uh, desired parts here related to this concept so i hope this video will help you a lot in your studies regarding the topic of joint probability density function thank you so much for watching this video